Okay, this is a brief demonstration of options you have to style images that are placed within the content editor. Now, with the change to the new content editor, there's no menu of tools available off of an image that can allow you to change its position or alignment, but there are some sneaky ways of getting around that. So, for example, let's say I want to add an image to this page and center it. What I can do is place my mouse um, at the point where I want that image inserted and then drop down a new line and then I will go through the process of embedding that image through the add button. So let's say I want this robot image. Okay, and he's rather large so I'm just going to use the cross here or the little handles here to make him smaller. Okay, so now that I have him selected, so I can see the little handles around him, I'm going to go to my text alignment tools and choose center, and that will center that little robot image on the page. Okay, so I'll click submit, and we'll see what he looks like. And there he is, he's centered on the page. Now, um, another option, if I wanted to have him aligned to the right of the content on the page, I'm just going to remove him. I'm just going to restyle my content here, remove some of these extra spaces. Now, at the point where I want this image inserted into the content, that is where I will put my mouse. So let's say I want this image right before this header. So I can see in my styles here that this is a heading. So right before this heading, I'm going to place my mouse, drop down a line. So I have a separate line here, and before I do anything, I'm just going to change this to paragraph style. And now I'm going to insert that image. Let's say I want the, the robot puzzle again. It's going to insert him, and I'm going to just make him smaller through the little drag handles. Hopefully not warp him too badly. Okay, so here's this little image. I'm selecting him. Um, what I can do is go to my source code button. And here, I notice that the image is the first thing on, at the top of the page, and then here's my heading, and then here's all my other content. What I can do is where I have this style code, I can add a special little property to tell the browser to move this image to the right of whatever follows it. So what I can do is put my mouse after that little semicolon, put in a space, type in the word float, colon, right, and then another semicolon. Now, if you wanted to have a little extra padding after this image so that there's a nice little margin between the text and the image, you can add another little rule called padding dash left colon and then put in a number. So let's say I want 20 pixels, 20 px. All right, and I don't have to put a semicolon after that last item because it's the last thing before the quote symbol. Okay, so then I'll click save and now I can see this little image now is wrapped to the right and all the other text flows nicely to the left. And if there's some extra space here, oh, remove my heading. Why is there a little... Ah, here we go. Remove that break. Okay, that's good. There. So I had some extra spaces, but now this looks good. So if I click Submit, now I have this image that's floating to the right of the content. Okay, so that's the other option. So again, to repeat, you could try using the paragraph alignment tools on an item or an image, or you can use the HTML source mode, go into the code and add a float property to an image so that whatever follows it is going to be on the opposite side of the image. So float right means the text that follows it is going to be left. 
if I were to put float left, then the image would, would be to the left of the text. Okay. So that's it.